Good morning all of you. I am Dr. Rajini Gaur and today I am going to take up a new topic from the subject language across the curriculum. My today's topic is another language development. This theory is given by Walter Mischel and it is known as the social cognitive theory. Walter Mischel is an American psychologist. He was born on February 22, 1930 in Vienna, Austria. He had completed his PhD in clinical psychology from Ohio State University in 1968. He published a controversial book Personality and Assessment. His theory of personality states that an individual behavior is influenced by two things: the specific attributes of a given situation and the manner in which we perceive the situation. The social cognitive theory is the very popular theory amongst the psychologists for the language development. Mischel believes that cognitive factors are strong determiners of our reaction towards environmental forces than immediate reinforcement. He with this idea gives more importance to cognitive factors over reinforcement in human behavior. the cognitive factors as believed by him and which are responsible for certain behavior are expectancy subjective perceptions values goals and personal standards all these factors are important for shaping personality on the basis of experiments he suggested that a behavior shown by an individual is not simply the result of his or her traits of personality but basically dependent on situational cues these situational cues are the needs of a given situation this idea can be understood by these examples a person may be introvert or extrovert in different situations he may be outgoing and sociable at home and may not be such at a workplace a person can't be nice to all situations a person may have a favorable or unfavorable attitude towards the self as per environmental influences a person may be rigid at a situation and flexible at another situation so all these examples clearly reveals that the person cannot to behave in a same manner in all the situations equally michel gives five main variables that can help us in getting a prediction about behavior of an individual will most likely behave these variables are and these also influence the language of an individual first variable is competencies competency of an individual is a strong determinant factor of one's behavior these are made out of intellectual and social skills next is cognitive strategies these are different perceptions made by different people for a specific event a situation may be threatening for a person and may be challenging to another person third is expectancies these are what is expected of the behavior that come to be in mind or the expected results of different behaviors that are realized by the person inside his mind next is subjective values these are the respective value of each possible outcome of behave various behaviors next one is self regulatory system self regulatory systems are the rules and standards that people adapt to in order to regulate 
their behavior. Michel most notable contributions to psychology by his work can be understood under the following headings. The very first point he, he focused on is the self-regulation. It is also known as self-control. It is an individual to determine and work towards goal. It is also described as willpower. Michel and his colleagues done experiment on a group of preschoolers. The age below the age of these preschoolers is from two to three years, and they continued to follow this group till high school. That means when they attain the age of fourteen to fifteen years. They found that children who had more self-control in preschool were more successful in high school and vice versa. They have a more stable relationship with adults. On the other hand, students who had poor self-control in preschools were found to have academic and behavioral problems. That means our uh, self-control is very essential or our self-regulation is very essential to control our behavior and it works behind our success. Second is delayed gratification that also works. It is the result of self-regulation. Delayed gratification is the concept of denying oneself a reward in the present to get a better reward. In the future, Michel's experiment on preschool children is also known as the marshmallow experiment. In it, he was found about the process and mental mechanism which enables a young child to go for immediate gratification and to wait for a larger desired but delayed rewards. We all know that it is our psychology that whenever we perform something, we want uh, reward or we want appreciation for that performance immediately. But sometimes the immediate reinforcement or the immediate uh, motiv or motivation is not necessary uh, as it may pave the way for the delayed reward and that would be the larger through this experiment, Michel found that young children differ in their degree of self-control. Thank you and hope this explanation helps you to understand the theory which is given by Michel and it also tells us that what are the various components which works behind the success of an individual and how it also influences their language development. Thank you.